a lot of guys have been sending me uh, DMs, questions, and or emails, and they're at, they always ask me my opinions on the Andrew Tate thing. What's going on with Andrew Tate? Um, and a lot of guys ask me why I don't make videos defending his honor against what's going on with him and Tristan right now. Um, a few times I've referenced them in regard to the type of women that they choose to deal with. Um, but I've never come out publicly and defended them or, you know, rallied for them and what they're going to against this quote unquote matrix attack. Now, this coming Tuesday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to respond to a video, his interview that he did with BBC. I'll, I'll, I'll talk more Andrew Tate on Tuesday live on my YouTube, uh, my YouTube show, my live YouTube show at Tuesday, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But <clears throat> I never defended them because I don't know them, right? I'm a, a, a man of integrity, and I'm not a, a, a guy who's a sheep. I don't f just follow people blindly. I don't know him personally, so I can't go out and, and what – you know, the allegations are something that's very serious. I don't know what's going on. People say this. People say that. He's <laughs> videos of him saying this. People saying he say that. I don't know what's going on. I don't know him personally. I can't defend someone that I don't know, you know, especially with something like that. Because I don't know if he did it or not. Now, I do know the, the, the false allegation thing is a real thing. And I do my best to try to teach you guys how to behave in a way and how to choose women so that doesn't happen to you. But I don't know them. I don't know Tristan Tate personally. I don't know Andrew Tate personally. If something happened to me, he probably wouldn't uh, rally for me, right? I've never seen him rally for anybody. But that don't mean I don't you know, like his message or whatever. I just don't know him as a person. I don't know what the fuck he was into. I, knew, I do know he ran a certain type of operation because he's admitted it. I do know um, prior to him becoming famous, you know, he did, you know, private groups and private courses teaching certain things that when you do look at it, when you look at these certain things, by law in the United States, at least I don't know about uh, Romania, but by law in the United States, when you are involved in sex work, if you do it certain ways, it's considered human trafficking, period. Um, that's just the law. So, you know, I don't know what the fuck is going on, and I'm not going to blindly associate myself with somebody who I don't know. I don't know their background. I don't know their real character. I've never had a conversation with them. That's just not me. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of you guys... You know, I do understand standing up for what's right, right? But I think you guys, a lot of you guys follow movements blindly, right? And you associate yourself with things that you shouldn't associate yourself with, right? Not to say that you shouldn't associate yourself with uh, Andrew Tate, because again, I don't, you know, his message as far as, his message as far as discipline, uh, working, working hard, protecting and, and, and protecting women, providing for women, taking care of your family, being disciplined, not smoking, not drinking, working out, taking care of your body, getting your mind right. You understand what I'm saying? Thinking for yourself. I can't do nothing but respect that, so I fuck with him on that, just on that alone. You understand? But I just can't attach myself to a movement, and I don't know the people. I don't know them. You know, I, I don't know what's in... Hustlers University because I've never done it. I don't know what's in the war room because I've never been inside of it. So that's just me. So to, to the guys who uh, ask me that, that's why I don't do it because I don't know him. And I'm not a person who just blindly follow people and blindly rally behind people that I don't know. And in any, in any instance like this, just like with the Tory Lane shit, when I talked about the Tory Lane shit, I didn't, you know, I didn't, uh, when I covered that, I didn't take his side or I didn't take her side. I just laid it out and I taught you things that you can learn from the situation. I'm not going to stand up and say, oh, he didn't shoot her or he did shoot her because I don't fucking know. 
You understand what I'm saying? And what the fuck is my opinion? My opinion don't mean shit. What happened is what happened. My opinion don't really mean shit on it. What I can do is show you the facts of what happened and teach you game from that. I'm just not that type of person. You've never seen me come up and blindly defend anybody against anything like that. You've seen me talk about things after they've been convicted or, you know, talk about things while they were going through what they was going through in an effort to teach you. But I can't convict somebody or adjudicate them not guilty if I don't know them and I don't know what's going on. And I suggest you guys do the same. So that's why. Now, I will say this, too. I would I wish that he would stop. Uh, Andrew Tate, I wish he would stop calling this thing the Matrix. Um, because what that does is it absolves responsibility f- for the people who's actually coming after him. There's specific groups that's coming after him. Um, for his message, for teaching little boys to be masculine, teaching kids to be, you know, strong, teaching boys it's okay to be strong, it's okay to to get money, it's okay to 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 not drink and smoke and commit crime and, and be a man of God and work out and be in tip top shape and be competitive. There are people and groups who are directly against that because that type of masculinity is their competition. And these people have taken over the world. You understand what I'm saying? And that's not a matrix. Those are specific groups. Everybody know who those specific, it's two groups of people. Everybody know who those groups are. And I kind of wish that he would say these people are attacking me so we can know, or not we because I know, but the people can know who to rally against. This broad spectrum of the matrix, that's a, that's a boogeyman. You understand what I'm saying? These groups are directly uh, responsible for coming after him. And it's not the matrix or the system. It's these people putting pressure on the matrix or the system. The system isn't against. The system isn't against. This is some game about the system. The system isn't against masculinity. The system is about money and resources and, um, you know, capitalism, money, productivity. And if the dominant society and the dominant society right now is, I don't want to say dominant, but uh, the loudest, most most vocal, most radical uh, people, uh, disruptive, I'll say disruptive, if they are... They are the ones putting pressure on the system. And so the system caters to its financial base. You understand what I'm saying? The reason why the system doesn't really cater to men's needs is because men, uh, it's, it's not about right or wrong anymore, right? It's about money. And men typically, money or disruption, right? And disruption fucks up the money. Men, all men do, or this sector of the internet, or masculine men do, is cry and complain on the internet. These groups are out fucking shit up, right? These groups, these two specific groups of people are out um, calling your sponsors. A thousand calls to the bank, uh, a hounding media outlets, uh, leaving nasty comments, emails, showing up on, uh, uh, on showing up to these people's doorsteps. Um, harassing politicians, putting pressure on politicians. And in turn, they go after guys like Andrew Tate and um, his brother. You understand what I'm saying? But it, it, it's not a matrix thing. When you say, oh, it's the matrix, the matrix, nobody no, nobody know what's going on. I don't to say nobody, but most people don't know what's going on. They just see the system. And it's not really the system. The system is catering to the people who are applying pressure to it. So uh, maybe men, how can I say this? Maybe men should stop complaining so much. I'll say that. Men, men complain too much and we don't do enough doing. You know, we don't do enough boycotting. We don't do enough uh, calling politicians. We don't do enough rallying. We don't do enough protest. We don't do that. All we do is cry and complain on the internet and fight each other. You understand what I'm saying? But the system is going to cater to the money or the people who has the system in the balls to fuck up the money, basically. And these people know how to do that. So that's what's going on with Andrew Tate. But again, 
I don't know him um, personally, so I can't, I don't know what's going on, so I can't defend somebody I don't know. I just, call me what you want to call me. I cannot stand up and defend for somebody that I've never had a conversation with. I don't know his character. All I know is what I see, his persona online. And so that's that. But anyway, you know, um, I wish him the best if he is innocent. I wish I know what that's like. I've actually been to prison for something that I didn't do. And it still follows me to this day. And I was over 16 years ago. So I know how that feels if he's innocent. I know how it feels to be in jail on bullshit charges, no bonds, uh, all type of shit. You know, I know how it feels to be incarcerated and, and, you know, you're innocent. I know how that feels. So, you know, my deepest condolences for them, especially if they are uh, innocent. Um, yeah, I know how it feels. So I have a soft spot for that. So I wish them the best of luck. Um, and I hope they get the justice that, you know, is owed to them for whatever reason, if they did it or they didn't do it. Um, I hope they get the outcome that's, you know, God deems necessary. 